What's up everybody, John from PromptHero.ai and today we're going to be looking at how to make cute animals in Midjourney. If you don't know what Midjourney is, Midjourney is an AI app that generates art for you by writing prompts. It's an absolutely amazing app and we're going to take a look at how to make cute animals today. So making cute animals is actually quite easy. Let's start with something really basic here. So let's go ahead and let's add in cute fox sticker vector graphics. And what this is going to do is it's going to make a cute fox in a sticker format. Now, Midjourney has a whole bunch of different kind of commands that you can do. And sticker is a one that will make kind of like, well, a sticker. And vector graphics is another type of prompt that will make it kind of drawn or computer drawn. And so you can see the first result is actually pretty good. Now I like version two, so I went ahead and made four variations of it and then I picked the final variation. I thought this was pretty good. Let's move on to the next one. So in the next one, let's do the exact same thing except add in maybe another command or parameter. In this case, I'm gonna say cute kitten sticker Pixar, and then Vector. Now there is a difference between Vector and Vector Graphics. Vector Graphics gives you a slightly more detailed image. And Pixar in this case will give you something that looks like from the Pixar Studio. So as you can see, these are all pretty good. And some of them are a little bit more detailed than others, but I think number one looks the best. So I went ahead and made four variations here. Now, when you look at the variations, you have to look really hard at each one of them. And sometimes some are better than others. In this case, I thought the third one was the best because it was smiling and I went ahead and upscaled it. And I think this is a pretty good sticker. Let's take a look at the next one. So the next one I decided to do was cute puppy sleeping sticker and pictogram. Now pictogram is much like vector graphics, but it usually is a lot simpler here. Now what I was really going for was something even more simple than the result here. And if I really wanted to play around with it, I could have put in simple or minimalist, but I thought these were good enough. And so I thought that number two was the best one. So I decided to make four variations here and then I chose the best one. And I think this is really good. Sometimes in mid journey, things don't work out the way they wanted to. So let's take a look at a failure and what I did to improve it. So in this one, I wanted a cute tiger playing hockey and sticker here. And as you can see, it didn't work out very well. The stick wasn't very good and I just didn't like it here. So I re-rolled it and I didn't get a much better result. So I decided to go and completely redo the prompt here. So what I did is I said, cute tiger vector graphics, big eyes and sticker. So if you don't know what cartoons do, cartoons usually add in bigger eyes to make the animal look cuter. And if you just add in big eyes to what Whatever it is you're doing, you'll get a much cuter animal here. So I thought these were all pretty good here, but I decided to re-roll it. And of course, when you re-roll it, you can re-roll it one, two, or even 10 times if you really want to. If you're really going for something more specific, you can do that here. I decided that version three was the best. And so I made some variations here and I decided to pick the best variation. And I thought that this result was pretty good. If you look at this result, it is extremely detailed and it is extremely cute. So I think that's pretty good. So the best way to use mid journey is to kind of go with the flow here. I wanted to make a cute mammoth, but it doesn't really have a lot of good source material for mammoths so it just made an elephant instead let's take a look at how it did that so i decided to make a cute mammoth sticker happy and big eyes here and this was the result here now as you can see a couple of these were kind of woolly and maybe if you really wanted to you could put in woolly mammoth and you might get a slightly better result but i find that whenever you want to do anything mammoth related it just ends up being a elephant instead. So I thought that the elephant in number four was cute. So I made some variations here and I chose the best one. And now we have kind of a cute elephant. And I thought this was pretty good. Let's go ahead and let's make something different. So in this one, I decided to make a cute unicorn sticker here. And what you'll notice is that it actually makes stickers plus a background. So in this one, as you can see, the background is something different from a white background. Up until this point, every single background was mostly a white background. And oftentimes you have to put that in there. And for whatever reason, we've been able to get away with it. Now, I thought these were all really good. Now, if I really wanted to, I could say white background and that white background would actually be a white background instead. But I decided to go 
with the third variation here. And then I decided to go with the best one. And in the end, it kind of looked like it was angry. Now, what I would do is I would go into Photoshop because I think this unicorn looks really good, but I would probably touch everything up uh, and just make it look a little bit happier because it looks like it's a little bit mad. I don't know why I did that, it just did. Now, of course, you can make other things other than animals here. In this one, let's make a cute train. So in this one here, I said cute train sticker, happy and vector. And all of these made a really good result here. Now I decided to use vector instead of vector graphics because I wanted it to be simpler. Now, of course, mid journey doesn't do that all the time. It does that some of the time, but nevertheless, I thought these variations were pretty good here. I do like the fact that there's a cloud and the cloud is happy in version one, but all of these look really good. Now, I think number two would probably give the best result. And the reason I think that is that if you look at version four, the eyes are kind of like in the train itself. And oftentimes when that happens, you might not get a good result, but you could try it and see what happens here. I also think that version three is also really good, but I kind of like the version two because it looks like a train from Japan. And of course, if I'm going for that Japanese style, then it looks really good. And again, mid journey really does gravitate towards Japanese style, culture, and art. So I went ahead and made some variations. And as you can see, some of these variations are really good. I decided to pick one that didn't have the cloud. If you look at version three and version four, version four had a bunch of artifacts in it and I didn't like it. And I decided to upscale version three. Version three looks pretty good. And I think that looks like a happy train. Let's make some cute kids. So in this one here, I said cute girl and boy riding on a skateboard, sticker, happy, smiling, big eyes, and Pixar here. Now, sometimes if you don't add in the smiling or happy, you get a very bad result here. And in this case, I just decided to add that in here. And I think all of these are pretty good. Uh, I think version one is by far the best. So I decided to make uh, some variations here. And then I chose the best one. And this looks actually pretty good here. Now, the other thing I kind of wanted to do is have them on two different skateboards, even though they're on the same skateboard. Now, if you really wanted to do that, you would have to go back and say two kids on two different skateboards. You'd have to be a lot more specific. Sometimes mid journey doesn't get the thing that you want right, but I think this result is very good and I'm quite happy with it. Let's make a cute mouse with glasses. So in this one, I decided to add in a cute mouse with glasses, sticker, vector, happy, smiling, and big eyes here. And as you can see, the result is really good here. It did pretty much all of those things. If you want your animal or character to wear a specific piece of clothing or anything, you have to say it. So in this case, a cute mouse with glasses was really good. I thought that version three was the best, so I made some variations and all these variations are pretty good, but I decided to upscale my favorite one and I'm pretty happy with this result. Last but not least, let's make a cute looking banana with glasses. So for the prompt, I put in cute banana, sticker, glasses, big eyes, happy, and smiling here. Again, the sticker command will give you a very specific kind of art here. And I thought these were all pretty good. Some of them don't look very good. Like if you look at version three, it has two faces and version four doesn't look very good. Version one doesn't look very good at all. And if I was really into this, I might re-roll this a few times, but version two by far looks the best here. You'll also notice that it has a brown background. And again, if you really wanted a white background, you might as well just take this art and put it in the Photoshop. That's what I would do. But anyway, I made some variations and then I upscaled my favorite one. All right, so that concludes this video. I wanna know your thoughts down below. Which one's your favorite? Have you made some cute stickers? I think this was a really good project because if you're a teacher or if you have kids or if you just wanna make something fun, this is really fun to do. I had a lot of fun making it and believe it or not, the prompts are actually quite simple. If you're making more detailed art, you need to have much bigger prompts. But for this, it was just basically maybe three or five words in a prompt. I thought that was pretty good. So please be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below. It really does help us out when you like and subscribe. These videos take a lot longer to make than you would think. So please help us out by liking and subscribing. And if you really like this video, you can share it. It really does help us out when you share. Also go to prompthero.ai for daily updates on how to use Midjourney, Chat GTP, and more. There's gonna be a lot of really amazing news coming out of prompthero.ai. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.